welcome everybody to another episode of Hunting with Pratze. And today we are starting from Red Feather Falls, from the Trapper's Rest Lodge. And I just feel like uh, hunting some moose if possible, and also a whitetail. So uh, let's show you guys what we take with us. It will be the Anschutz 8x57. So let's just reload. And then the recurve bow with the new orange tracer flare arrows. So uh, I would like to uh, do some tree stand hunting and if possible show you the new arrows and uh, yeah I also can say that I plan to first check out the area down here at this stand because there I have found quite uh, quite many mooses already so uh, I hope we will find a nice bull if possible and then we could check out the swampy area here maybe or we could also decide to go somewhere here but that's something we just decide once we're there and um, yes yeah, something about the tracer flare premium ammunition is that there was a big discussion on the forums and um, there happened some mistakes uh, where the developers didn't really uh, announce them properly so uh, when they came out on Doc's Outfitter shop um, people didn't um, didn't see or know that they would not replenish automatically when when uh, being used like the uh, all the other ammo that we get will replenish because um, because of the membership so um, people didn't know that um, it wouldn't replenish and um, therefore it was a huge discussion about it and also the price was something that many people didn't like me included so um, then um, the developers took the arrows away again and uh, I was already afraid that this would lead to even more um, yeah harsh feelings and uh, wrong um, yeah wrong wrong impressions so um, I'm happy that they brought them back very quickly and did put them on sale for uh, until I don't know until when but I, th I think until the end of the month something like that or until Christmas and also they um, made some uh, bundles you could bu buy where you have a price advantage of 40% if you purchase 50 of these arrows um, they still um, keep this as a premium item which um, is okay I mean I don't like that so much to have that on uh, on something like ammo but um, I'm okay with it I mean um, it's their decision and uh, everyone can have his way about it and uh, deciding for himself if he needs it or not or if the money is worth it so uh, yeah that's what I wanted to say about the tracer flare ammunition and the whole premium concept behind it and uh, yeah I will find now a nice spot and hopefully f find a good place to uh, put up my tree stand and do some tree stand hunting. I know it's, it might be uh, not so much action going on then, 
but uh, as I said, I just hunt how I like to hunt, and um, I basically just uh, let you guys be with me when I'm hunting here on the Hunter, and uh, that's uh, how it is. I just do whatever I feel like to do, and um, of course I take requests, but uh, um, right now I keep it that I do what I like to do, and today I feel like some uh, some doing some tree stand hunting. So uh, I'll be back when I get ready and maybe something happens on the way. So uh, you will be back with me the next time there's something to tell. Okay guys, I arrived here at a nice spot where I would like to do some tree stand hunting. And uh, before I set up the tree stand I take a look um, through my binoculars um, to check if there is any animal nearby that would uh, spook if I would set up the tree stand. So it looks like there is nothing here yet. So uh, I will set the tree stand up now. And yes, I think that's just a very nice place to be for tree stand hunting. Um, you can see a lot of open uh, space here. Like, um, yeah, so um, I will do just uh, waiting here <laughs> and come on. That that must be kidding. I'm so lucky. Okay, let's see. <laughs> That's really amazing. It's always when I when I record I seem to be so lucky. Okay. Let's call him back. And uh here seems to be it's a white tail buck by the way um, so he's at where this where the stand is must be like in that direction yeah somewhere here and yeah there he is So now I really really hope I will not mess up with the recurve bow. I actually do not really um, often use it because um, I find it hard to hit with it and uh, I don't really like to wound animals or take really bad shots at them. So. Um, Actually, the compound bow is uh, is uh, much better in that aspect. He's looking decent, actually. Very nice white tail. I love hunting white tail, by the way. They are so gorgeous, and they are also not easy to hunt because they like to roam on their own. And. Um, Oh, there's a different one, even. Oh, that's nice. So if we get really lucky, and uh, the other one will not hear the bow when we take this one, we might even end up with uh, two white tails here. So that's really working just perfect the way I, I, I like I, I want it um, but don't get me wrong I mean I enjoy to uh, to do tree stand hunting even if it um, requires 
some waiting time. I mean, of course it's always perfect um, when quickly something happens, but uh, for me the the waiting is also part of hunting, to be patient. Okay, I think I'm gonna get uh, take the shot. No. I'm gonna wait until he stops, and I hope he's not getting too near. Please stop again. Yes. Okay, I think that shot was okay. And uh, especially in the... He went down, yes! Especially in the, in the dizzy... Uh, foggy mornings. These tracer flare arrows are just brilliant. So I think we might be able able to also call in the other one. Okay guys, he is calling again and uh, this time he should be near enough to see him. Yeah, there he is. So let's call him back. And actually, I would like to uh, check the wind direction. Ah, this time it's, uh, well, not perfect, but we do have the Sand Eliminator on, so we should be okay. And I just always keep my eyes open, open because I'm not sure if it was this bug that we heard before. So there could be still another one somewhere. But right now I can't see. Okay. So uh, let's see. Yeah, this is at the stone, there's like the 20 meter mark. This one looks uh, smaller than the first one. But nevertheless, it's a nice buck, and I think we also could try to get him with the bow. Especially because we are not sure if there's even another one nearby okay I think that was a good shot you can see the arrow very well and from the blood there's plenty of blood down there so uh, I'm hoping for a long shot there now, question is, could there be even another one? Or did he just travel and circle all the way around us? Because the last time I heard him, he was more in, in this direction here. I think I'm going to wait a little bit longer and then I'm going to be back when something happens. Okay guys, I just uh, waited uh, some time but didn't hear any uh, whitetail buck anymore. So I think it's time to uh, to get the bucks. And of course first I want to check the blood trail here and it's not as good as I thought, it's a body shot. And there he is already, I can see him, he went down. Brilliant, brilliant. That's perfect. 
and we got a score of 106.572 and yes the shot placement was a little bit low so uh, therefore we missed the lungs but nevertheless he went down quickly bled out so I'm happy with that and now I'm going to collect the other one and here we are already so uh, let's check this out and as you can see the shot placement is, uh, is a little bit higher on this one and we got his lung which is uh, really good and the score is 154.412 and I'm quite happy with that and as you can see he looks gorgeous very nice uh, wreck um, I really do like to hunt whitetail very much in this game and uh, yeah I'm very happy with this one so I will go back to the, s to the tree stand now one more time and just wait a little bit and um, who knows maybe we get lucky again okay guys you can probably see by the difference of the position of the sun that I have been waiting quite a long time here now and I tried to call some moose calling and some whitetail as well but uh, it seems like there's nothing going on now so uh, I decided to uh, move on and take the tree stand with me and uh, I think we should also check out this island here um, and maybe we will find something interesting on our way so I will let you know <laughs> 